This is a recording of our playbook. Download it from our website. Welcome to our whiteboard drawing, day two, CUCM, CUC, IMNP, and UCCX cluster installations, IMNP subscriber installation. This drawing describes how to install Cisco IMNP 9.1.1 subscribers. This is the version that was packaged with our BE6000. Let's start with a quick overview and review. Here are the tasks for our Cisco collaboration, cluster installation and integration. On installation day, a literal day, we install our CUCM, CUC, IMNP, and UCCX clusters. Deploy all of the VMs from OVAs and attach the installation media. Install our CUCM, CUC, IMNP, and UCCX publishers. Install our CUCM, CUC, IMNP, and UCCX subscribers. Activate the services we need in the CUCM cluster when we install the IMNP and UCCX subscribers. Integrate IMNP and UCCX with CUCM when we install the IMNP and UCCX subscribers. Configure DRS for all four applications. Integrate CUCM and CUC with ELM. And do some final tasks, like upgrade VMware tools and configure virtual machine startup and shutdown. We'll do these installs at the same time. The IMNP pub installation should have completed. We can proceed to add the AXL user, activate services on the CUCM publisher, run post installation deployment wizard on IMNP pub, add subscribers to the publisher, and install IMNP subscribers. Start at 1315. Integrating IMNP with the CUCM and launching the installations should take less than an hour. This is the Enterprise 20 deployment for CUCM, CUC, IMNP, and UCCX. ELMA is co-resident with CUCM Pub. The publishers should all be installed by now. We will continue with the IMNP subscriber installation. We need an AXL user for the IMNP integration with CUCM. The AXL service needs to be running on CUCM Pub and we need a user with access to the service. Web browse to this address. Click continue to this website. Log in using Collab Admin, the application username you configured during installation, and your password, which you also configured during installation. Navigate to User Management, Application User. Click Find. You could use the Collab Admin user, but it's generally recommended for these kinds of users to have only the necessary privileges for their roles. Enterprise 20 adds a user specifically for AXL integrations. Click Add New. Add a user with ID AXL and provide a password. Click Save. Scroll to the bottom and click Add to Access Control Group. Add the user to the standard TabSync user. This provides the AXL user with the standard AXL API access role, which is the only role this user needs. Click Add Selected. Click Save on the Application User Configuration page. The AXL user should have the standard AXL API access role. Now we need to activate services on the CUCM for the IMNP integration. We need to start the Cisco AXL web service on CUCM Pub for integration with IMNP and UCCX. Why start just one service when we can start a bunch of services? We will start all the services we need on CUCM Pub right now. We know some of you start all the services. That's not recommended, but it certainly works and we understand where you're coming from. If you take this approach, consider Nothing good comes of starting the Cisco Messaging Interface service. 
never start this service. Also consider, Enterprise 20 never starts security services until we are ready to configure them. Cisco CTL Provider and Cisco Certificate Authority Proxy Function. Here's a tech tip from the BE6000 validated design for your reference. There are many other services you can disable if you don't plan on using them. Enterprise 20 always starts the dialed number analyzer services because we use that service for troubleshooting. The services that get started and the services we need for a single server cluster don't match up well enough for this to be worthwhile. The services that get started don't match the CVD recommendations either. These services get started. We still need these services. For a single server deployment without HA, we check the boxes beside these services on CUCM Pub and click Save. For an HA solution with two servers, we deploy CUCM Pub and CUCM 1B. We check the boxes beside these services on CUCM Pub and click Save. For the Enterprise 20 deployment, CUCM Pub provides a TFTP service, a backup for the dedicated TFTP server, and the normal dedicated publisher services. For the Enterprise 20 deployment, we check the boxes beside these services on CUCM Pub and click Save. Now start the services we need on CUCM Pub. In the Navigation drop-down box, select Cisco Unified Serviceability and click Go. Navigate to Tools, Service Activation. In the Server drop-down box, select CUCM Pub and click Go. Here is a partial screen capture. We need to run the post installation wizard on IMP Pub. In order to add subscribers to IMP Pub, you must first run the post installation wizard. Web browse to this address. Click continue to this website. Log in using Collab Admin, the application username you configured during installation, and your password, which you also configured during installation. We enabled Compatibility View for IMP Pub. We added both the name and the IP address. Enter the CUCM Publisher hostname, CUCM Pub, and address 172.20.203.61 and click Next. Enter the AXL user ID, AXL, and password, and click Next. Enter the CUCM cluster security password, and click Next. Review the configuration, and click Confirm. Next, we add the subscribers to the I am in Presence cluster publisher. We'll click on Topology to add IMP1A to the cluster. Navigate to System, Cluster Topology, Add Node. Add IMP1B.Enterprise20.ca to the cluster. Provide a description and click Save. Do not add the node to the subcluster before you install it. Now we install the IMP subscriber. The subscriber has been deployed to ESXIB and the ISO is attached. We've added IMP1B to IMP Pub. Now IMP1B can be installed. Select IMP1B from the inventory and open a console. Start the VM using the green arrow icon in the toolbar. IMP Pub should start. Select Yes to perform a media check. 
When you click inside the console, your cursor will be stuck there. Press Ctrl-Alt to free your cursor from the console. The media check will run. After a short while, the integrity of the media should be verified. The media check on Enterprise 20 ESXi-A took less than 45 seconds. Select Cisco Unified Communications Manager I am in Presence and press OK. This is a new install. Press Yes. Press Proceed to perform the full installation immediately without a floppy with the platform configuration. We're not applying a patch, so select No. Select Continue to proceed with the installation without a floppy. Select the best place to live for your time zone and press OK. Auto negotiation doesn't make a lot of sense for a VM. Select Continue. Leave the MTU size alone. Press No. Press No so that you can configure a static server IP address. Provide the static network configuration and press OK. For Enterprise 20, IMP1B has IP address 172.20.204.81 with a mask of 255.255.255.0 and a default gateway of 172.20.204.5. Press Yes to enable DNS. Enter the primary and secondary DNS servers and domain name. For Enterprise 20, we have only one DNS server at 172.20.100.101 with the domain enterprise20.ca. Provide the platform administrator ID and password and press OK. The platform administrator has access to the console and the OS administration and disaster recovery web pages. Provide the certificate information and press OK. Unless you have a security team to provide these values, just enter something reasonable. Press No to install a subscriber. We added this server to the first node, also known as the publisher, so press OK. Press No to do the whole installation right now. Provide the name, address, and security password for the publisher and press OK. We're not doing SMTP, so press No. The installation is good to go. Press OK. The installation should take about 45 minutes. When it completes successfully, you can log in using the platform administrator username and password. The CUCM and CUC1A subscriber installations completed while we were at lunch. The IMP1B installation is the only installation that is ongoing. The IMP subscriber installation has been launched. All publishers, the three CUCM subscribers and CUC1A are installed. It's 1400 hours now. Next, install the UCCX subscriber. Coming up next, CUCM, CUC, IMNP, and UCCX cluster installations integrate with CUCM and install UCCX subscriber. Thanks for watching.